of monarch butterflies bring a vibrant display of color to a Cleveland park as they begin their migration to Mexico ahead of winter. Meanwhile, the Ramat Gan Safari Zoo workers in Israel hope that the female baboon with a rare light-colored fur will eventually pass on her unique gene to the baboon group. Precious Ong tells us why. Workers in Israel's Ramat Gan Safari Zoo were surprised this week when they discovered that a female baboon with light-colored fur gave birth to a dark-colored baby. The four-year-old mother Sahara, who gave birth three weeks ago, has become the first light-colored female baboon that gave birth in the safari. It added that in order for the offspring to be light-colored, both the mother and the father should carry the rare light-colored fur gene, which wasn't the case this time. The baby baboon received this gene only from Sahara, the zoo said, and thus carries it recessively, which means it may pass it on to future generations. For us, it's uh, really uh, amazing and we are very happy because we had already in the past uh, two uh, light uh, fur baboons, but none of them gave birth. Sara is the first one that gave birth. Uh, she gave birth, although to a dark uh, colored baboon, but we still hope that the gene of the redhead is still in our group. Sahara's baby doesn't have a name yet, but the zoo said they were looking for a name that also starts with the letter S. Hamadryas baboon or Papio hamadryas is a species that occurs in Northeast Africa and faces local threats such as loss of habitat due to major agricultural expansion and irrigation projects, according to the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. Meanwhile, thousands of monarch butterflies migrating from Canada to Mexico stopped in Cleveland on Sunday to rest up for the long trip ahead. Monarch butterflies by the thousands flew over Lake Erie from Canada to the delight of nature lovers. Monarchs haven't been seen in numbers like these for many years. The orange and black beauties are a rare sight because monarch populations are in decline. The butterflies will rest in Ohio in preparation for the flight to Mexico to escape the cold northern winters. Precious Ong reporting for Y News.